Good morning. So great to be with you this morning. Uh, we're going to be doing five devotions this week, and I'm going to be talking about the power of God's Word. You know, unfortunately, I think there are two extremes when it comes to God's Word. Number one, people aren't reading God's Word, so have no knowledge of God. And the other extreme is people are reading God's Word out of religious duty rather than recognizing the life and the power that is in God's Word. I'd like to start out of Psalm 138 verse 2, and it reads it this way. I will bow down in worship toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word together with your name. Notice what the psalmist is saying. He's saying that God has magnified his word together with his name. The same power and authority that is in the names of God and the name of God, the same power and authority is in God's word. If you have to think about Jesus when he was tempted, he responded in those temptations with it is written. We need to recognize that the word of God is our daily bread. Every rhema word, every revelation that we get out of God's word is powerful and it will help us to become victors in life. Many people are going through circumstances and complaining about them, thinking that complaining about my circumstances is going to get me through to the other side. I have to recognize that complaining keeps me imprisoned to my problems. So I need to stop complaining about my problems and start speaking and believing the power that is in God's word. That he has given me his word so that I can be victorious and come through the other side because I'm trusting in, I'm believing and I'm confessing the word of God which has the same power as his name. Begin to take the word of God and see it as living and powerful. Begin to confess it and see yourself come through to the other side. Always remember friends, you are highly favored and deeply loved of God.